and pretty knocked up from all of I think the TVs that were maybe on it before. There is going to be an event in this space and it is next to the amazing crazy wall number two. So on here I'm actually going to show you how you can use wallpaper as art to quickly and beautifully jazz up a wall. I have decided to make each panel the width of the wallpaper, which means no joining patterns, and I have three panels at 1200 millimeters long, so 120 centimeters. Next, I needed to find out where the exact center of the wall would be and mark it out, making sure that I had enough room for the, my 67 millimeter border, as well as a 200 millimeter gap in between each of the frames that will be created. Again, I'm using a spirit level here to make sure my panels are straight up and down. Nothing worse than finishing it, standing back and it looking wonky. I'm working in such a crowded space. I'm measuring out the panels and cutting them on the roll and it is just a shocker. Lesson 101, never work on a surface that's too small for your paper unless you're desperate. I would usually cut the wallpaper with a metal ruler and a Stanley knife, but I'm framing this with timber edges, which means it can be a little less straight and scissors are okay. For this wallpaper, I'm applying a pre-mixed glue to the wall with a large, dense brush. As I have the panels marked on with pencil, I can literally color in between the lines with the glue. Now for the paper. Start level at the top and then ease the paper onto the wall with a sponge, making sure that you have no air bubbles. If you do, it's as simple as lifting it off gently and then going again. One done and press repeat. Two down and one to go. Wallpaper is on, simple, quick and easy, no matching patterns, no pattern repeats, absolutely nothing. It is the easiest thing to wallpaper. Now to frame these, I'm just using simple square cut, as in straight edge cut battens. They're called from Bunnings and they're pre-primed, so they're gonna be a dream to put on. We're gonna create simple white frames around each panel and our wall's done. We're giving them one coat now and then we'll finish them with another coat once they're up on the wall. It's time for my chippy Luke to install these battens. And once they're installed, we're going to putty up the nail holes, sand them and finish them with a final coat. For joining me. Did you know I wrote a book all about renovating to create wealth and freedom in your life? I've added the link below in the description for you. Enjoy!